theorem of probabilities so if e and f are two mutually exclusive events then by addition theorem of probabilities B E union L is equal to B E plus P F. That is, according to addition theorem of probabilities, if E and F are two mutually exclusive events, then the probability of their union, or we can say that the probability of the event that any one of these two events may happen is exactly equal to the sum of their individual probabilities. Now let us take an example. Suppose the experiment is a toss of a coin and E is defined as the occurrence of head and F is an event defined as occurrence of tail. As we know that the possible outcomes of one toss are only two, one is head and other is tail. And because head and tail may not happen at the same time, so we can say that occurrence of head and occurrence of tail are two mutually exclusive events. So simply here E and F are two mutually exclusive events and since occurrence of head is has only one favorable outcome that is head and the total number of outcomes are only two that is head or tail. So according to the definition of probabilities, number of favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes, if we find PE, that is the probability of E, occurrence of head. So as we have discussed, the favorable number of outcomes are only 1. So 1 upon the total number of possible outcomes are 2. So PE is half. Similarly, PF, that is probability of occurrence of tail, is also half because there is only one favorable outcome for the event occurrence of tail and there are total number of possible outcomes head and tail, that is only two possible outcomes are there. So out of two possible outcomes, one is favorable. So PF is also one upon two. Now, if we want to find the probability of the event that either E happens or F happens. That means either we have head or tail. So as we know that well, at least one of the event must happen because in the case of one toss, there must be head or a tail. So according to 
the addition theorem of probability p e p e or f is equal to p e plus p f or in other words we can say that p e union f is equal to p e plus p f so substituting the value of p e and p f from here half plus half and half plus half is equal to 1 and as we know that the event whose probability is 1 is said to be a sure event that means the event which will happen surely so the probability of the event that either head occurs or tail occurs in the case of one coin, one uh, toss of a coin at least one of these two events must happen so by common sense one may say that the probability of the union of these two events must be one so we see that the probability of the union is equal to one